Hi, in this video I will show you how to configure direct inward system access with pin authentication multiple calls in Eternity P, G and ME. Direct inward system access is commonly known as DSA. It allows extension users of Eternity to access features and facilities of their extension from a remote location. This is possible using the trunks on which DSA feature is enabled. Eternity offers three variants of DSA. Each has specific method of authentication and level of access. They are DSA with CLI authentication multiple calls, DSA with CLI authentication one call, and DSA with pin authentication multiple calls. Out of these three DSA variants, let us see the configuration of DSA with pin authentication multiple calls. If DSA with pin authentication multiple calls is enabled on a trunk of eternity, when a user calls on it, the system plays the DSA greeting or music on hold to him. Then, he needs to dial the DSA login code. The DSA login code consists of the DSA access code, the user's extension number and the extension's user password. On successful login, the user needs to dial the off-hook code to get the internal dial tone of the system. This way, a user can access the features and facilities of his extension from a remote location. Using DSA with pin authentication multiple calls, from a remote location, a user can call other extensions, make external calls, use features of Eternity, configure Eternity and administer it. To better understand the application of this feature, let us consider this scenario. Suppose I have Eternity G installed at my office. Further, let us assume that one of the digital key phone that is DKP user has gone out and he wants to access features and facilities of his extension from the remote location. Say his DKP extension is 3001 and its port number is 1. We need to enable DSA pin authentication multiple calls on one of the trunks, say CO trunk 1. The configuration involves two steps. Enable DSA pin authentication multiple calls in the trunk feature template of the DSA login trunk and enable the DSA feature in the class of service of the DSA login extension. Let us start with the first step. Login to Eternity as System Engineer. On the left menu pane, under the Configuration menu, click CO Configuration. In CO Configuration, select CO Parameters. Here, the Trunk Feature template assigned to CO Trunk 1 is 1. Now click on the trunk feature template link. Here for template 1 under the options of DSA select pin authentication multiple calls for all three time zones namely working hours, break hours and non-working hours. Then submit the page. We have completed the first step. Now, let us see the second step of enabling the DSA feature. In the left menu pane, under Configuration menu, click on DKP Configuration. Then, click on DKP Parameters. Here, for DKP1, the Station Basic Feature Template assigned is 1. Now, Click on Station Basic Feature Template link. For Station Basic Feature Template 1, the class of service assigned is 1 for all time zones. Hence, now click on Class of Service link. For Class of Service 1, enable the feature DSA. Finally, submit the page. Thus, we are done with all the steps. Prior to using this feature, 
make sure that the extension's user password is changed from its default value of 1111. Otherwise, the DISA access will be denied. Now, let us see how this feature works. When the user calls CO trunk 1, he will get the DISA greeting or music on hold. On hearing the DISA tone, he needs to dial the DISA access code 1079. Further, on getting the DISA prompt, he should dial his extension number 3001 followed by his extension's user password. The system now plays beeps to the user. This ensures that the user has successfully logged into DISA mode. Now, to go off hook, he needs to dial hash 1. Thus, he gets the internal dial tone of the system. Now, he can dial the desired digits, maybe an extension number, or trunk access code followed by an external number. After completion of a call, to go on hook, he needs to dial the code hash zero. Same way to make another call, he needs to go off hook and then follow the same procedure. Various codes to use during DISA session are like this. To go on hook, enter hash 0. To go off hook, enter hash 1. For flash, enter hash 2. To terminate DISA, enter hash 9. You may please note that the DISA access code 1079 is programmable. Thus, we have seen the configuration and working of DISA with pin authentication multiple calls. Thanks for watching this video. I'm sure that this will be useful to you. If you need any more help, please contact Matrix Technical Support.